EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Seattle Seahawks. With that, let's get up to Seattle. Standing by at CenturyLink Field, here are Brandon Gunn and Charles Davis. Okay, Coach, EA Sports coverage of the NFL playoffs brings us to the Pacific Northwest, the home of the 12s, as it's called, Century Link Field in Seattle. Tonight, it's the NFC's turn to take center stage as we've got a wild card matchup on tap between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Seattle Seahawks. Hello, everyone. Welcome to the postseason on EA Sports alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Garden, and Charles, that's really all I need to say to get you fired up. It's the postseason on EA Sports. And no one's more fired up than the guys who are going to be playing in this game. This is what they fought for all year long. Go back to the OTAs, the mini camps, training camp, throughout the season to get to the playoffs. Intensity level will be off the charts. seen him do it throughout his NFL career. We have. What are you, are you thinking of anything in particular? Yeah, I'm, I'm still remembering a certain Giants punter <laughs> not following orders. Oh, and Deshaun please. Jackson made that big-time return we the all ball. the way back <laughs> for a game winner in that one. I still remember seeing the looks of disbelief on the Giants' sideline. Going to look deep for Jeffrey. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. The linebacker Bobby Wagner able to get back in coverage and knock it free. And here are the starters for Philadelphia. And what a tough environment to roll into. On the road, playing one of the better teams in the league, obviously, because this is the playoffs. So what do teams talk about? Bringing their own momentum, bringing their own energy on the road, because you know you won't get any from the home crowd. And getting this just shy of midfield is spotted at the 49. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. But one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. Here we go, here we go. 180! Right, right. right back to Sanders on first down. And he's up across midfield and down into Seattle territory. Now after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. Here we go. 
The first down run got five. Here's second and five. I got 11. I got 11. To throw his wins. And complete to Zach Ertz. First catch of this wild card game for a thousand yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. Let's go, defense. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's Wentz to throw. Fighting to stay upright. Being chased out left. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. So the youngster able to use the legs to pick up the first. And one of my pet peeves when they see this guy play, when Carson Wentz takes off running the football, I always hear people go, oh, he's sneaky athletic. No, he's athletic. Watch him do it. It's an integral part of the quarterback run game, and he gets it done very, very well. Yeah, you don't like sneaky athletic, do you? That's no, just no. kind of a jab go, go, go. in the back. Yeah, not when it doesn't apply. I think that's a stereotype that needs to be broken down for him. Now a carry for Sanders. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard game, second and two. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys. We're seeing this the same way. We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. So first and goal and an opportunity for our first points in this wild card game. They'll run with Sanders. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no game on the play. Second and goal. The starters defensively now for the Seahawks. I'm going to hit they were terrific last week in the win over the Rams. Yeah, they gave up 17 points, but that's about what you consider the break-even bar. If you give up 17 points a game all year long, you're thinking you're going to be a playoff team. That's what you're looking for. Room to improve, of course. A pretty nice effort. They come up here with another shot from the six-yard line, and it's second and goal now. And it's caught. And he's dropped just Let's before stop. the line to gain. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. A touchdown saving tackle here. Now it's third and goal. This stadium once registered as the loudest one ever recorded, and you can hear it now. Third and goal. And I don't think he got there. No, they stop him right where it all started. Decision time, opening drive here, what would you do? There is no decision for me. I'm the visitor, I'm on the road, I move the ball downfield, I get momentum, I'm going for it right here. Look at that play sheet, pick out your best play. And even if you don't get it, then your defense is going to have a really good situation on the other side. Exactly, in fact, though, I'm not even telling my defense to get ready. I'm telling them to get ready to celebrate because we're going to score. Trying to be bold on the opening drive of the game, but that effort, it proves futile. How many times have we talked with coaches where they've talked about taking the emotion out of their decision-making? I think that opening drive, if he didn't have it in his head to go for it before, I think that keyed into it. They were doing so well, and he decided to really establish something there. They didn't get it. Now they got to make sure that they don't lose their focus. This is the Oklahoma State alum, Chris Carson. And he'll get him a little bit of breathing room across the five to the six yard line. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. On third down, Wilson. Open man is Metcalf. He's got it. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. That's a first down with a cherry on top, 31 yards. Well, that'll help get you out of danger. So much for playing it conservatively back towards your own goal. That aggressive mentality, sometimes you can use it, and they did there against a defense who probably thought to themselves, there's no way they take a shot here this deep in their own territory. What? Much more room to operate under after the big play. Here's first and 10. Throwing is Wilson. The front door set holds it in. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. On the delay, here's Carson. And they see right through that defensively. As he'll be hit and taken down in the backfield. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. 
And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. Just a five yard pickup, and it leads to fourth down. But we hear so often how tackling has become almost a lost start in the NFL game. But it's so important to tackle well on these receivers, especially in a play like this one. Third down, they gave him the underneath stuff. You got to go and make the tackle right away. Philadelphia getting sent to take the field. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they got to put that behind and try to put together another drive. And a simple tip of the ball. for the pick up, and it's intercepted. Put down by the linebacker, Bobby Wagner. Well, it's a cold night. And whether you're a quarterback that wears a glove on his throwing hand or not, that ball is a rock, Brandon. You've got to really drive it through the cold and the wind, or it can take off on you. And that may have been what happened there. On first down, it's Carson. Jatavis Brown there on the tackle. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size and these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for the defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half, and some of these shorter gains turn into bigger runs later. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Wilson to throw on third down. And he finds a man. It's Wilson. And he will score. Touchdown, Seattle. Greg Wilson. 28 yards. And his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. The tight end can kind of be that diamond in the rough secret weapon that you have. And right there, they show you why. And it's becoming less of a secret, isn't it, partner? Every game that we do nowadays, the tight end is a featured receiver, not just a blocker, as in the days of old. Jason Myers now for the extra point. And this will give the Seahawks a 7 to nothing lead. Fielded a few yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down That's right at the 20. We're going for it. Carson Wentz and the Eagles getting set to take over. And he'll need to find a way to shirt off the opening drive, if you can even call it. A one play and an interception, so he's got to forget that. I know that in today's football, we have a good number of coaches who don't look at time of possession the way that the old school guys did. But it's still a place for it. I think that on this drive, they're going to be throwing that interception. They're going to eat up a little bit more time to run some offense and give their defense a little bit of a break. And they'll try to jump sweep here. Oh, well, he's got some breathing room. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40. Here we go. Here we go. taken down. Here we go. A very nice pickup of 33 yards. This is one of those plays that has an equal chance of either being a big gain or a big loss, but with the college influence, we're seeing more of these plays come into the NFL. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And they're going to stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and 10. On play action, it's Wentz. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. I know our vantage point might be a little bit better way up here. That looked like an ill-advised throw to me. I didn't see anything open. And this play just didn't look right from the beginning. It did not. I thought he might get outside and just chuck it away. Dangerous pass, incomplete. And that'll wind up moving the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 21. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. The throw good for four. It's second down. It's now second down six. At the 17 yard line. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Here we go, here we go. Let's Get that ball. Look 
expecting to throw again on second down. Wentz. Throwing right, and that's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Again, that throw with Wentz. This is caught by Jackson. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. Wentz to throw again. And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Here comes the ball. Deshaun Jackson there to make the grab as they are now on the board here in the first half. And all about timing there on that short slant, Charles. Exactly right. That was timed up so well. The route, the throw, touchdown. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So that drive, 80 yards, nine plays. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. So we'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Seattle offense now set to come back out on the field. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. A running play on first down will give four up to the 29. Oh, a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Second and six, just inside the 30. Here's Wilson. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Fletcher Cox forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. Great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the side. He's going to look deep for more. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. offense now gets set to head back on the field. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time they get at least a little bit more of a cushion in the field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might have to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. Carl the loss of two on the play. And that'll make it second and 12. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. A 50-50 ball here, and it's intercepted. Puts up by Brian McDougall. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football down. Oh, man, Brandon, not a real good throw that time. It looked like he tried to put a little too much air under this one, and it turned into a play. And defensively, this is a dream. He could have fair caught that one. That was way too easy. And he'll go down for a loss inside his own five oh, yeah. four. That sends him two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. This is Carson. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. It's caught. Lock it. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. The completion there winds up a wash, and it'll bring up fourth down. They dialed up the blitz on third down, and your worry is a defense that they can hit you with a big play in that situation. Instead, the blitz pays off, able to rally to the football and make the play. 
Here's Jackson. 51 yards on the punt there. The Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense back out onto the field. And following the interception, just any interception, you're a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive. You just throw that out the window. I think you are. I don't think that there's any way to run back out there. You have a total defense. Just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. It's going to be an attack. We'll see how they attack him here. There will be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. Time to give a little credit here. That was an excellent read by the guys on the defensive side of the ball. You're your defense. Got to credit him on that one because they tried to fool him. They tried to trick him, ran a screen, and they went to it and smothered it for a loss of yardage. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender is making sure he's got to hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. The Seattle now ready to march into the field. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense. Get a couple of first downs. And hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for. Here. Wilson now off the bootleg. Dorsett's got it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Now we're getting a timeout here as it looks like there's a Seahawk injured on the play. While the trainers take a look. We'll step aside. Hey, hey. They'll run on first down. Carson. And Duke Riley will get credit for the tackle. I call that play a success. A nice inside run. Sets up a very manageable second down. A very solid gain on that play. On second down. It's Carson. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 39. The Seahawks on third down. Two for five to this point. They need just a yard here. It's third and one. They run it with Carson. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. And that's the big fellas in the right there. Running through tackles, keeping the sticks moving forward. And this defense, if you don't bring 11 guys to the ball to try and get him on the ground, he's going to keep making runs like that. I feel the press box shaking every time he touches the rock. Oh, he got possession on him, and he pulls it in. That'll pick up the first down for Seattle on a gain of 18. This drive, it's been a good mix from passing plays, three runs, hitting on all three of those passes, and the last one putting him in the red zone. So what do you think play action right here? Because you've got the ability and had the ability to run it in, throw it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They can't stop him. We said it before the game, and I think it's still apparent. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they got three weeks of habit coming off the edge. In a wild card round, they told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Needs something for deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. To throw is Wilson. Complete to Dorsey. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Two minutes to play here in this first half of the NFL playoffs. Coming up at the half, we remind you that we're going to do what we've done all year. We'll get you down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Coach will have a look down on what's going on here in this wild card weekend. And he is in for the Seattle touchdown. Russell Wilson with two first half touchdown passes. And the Seahawks have taken the lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. It's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Now Myers for the extra point. And he 
Ryan's got it. It's now a 14-7 goal game. is taken at the three. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. The Eagles are offense set to begin their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. They'll run at Sanders. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. The main goal, get to a good first down. Run some plays, run some clock. Allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Now a deep play there on second down, but it'll wind up in the game. It's now a throw. Jeffrey breaking the tackle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First catch of this wild card game for a 1,000-yard receiver in the regular season. He's got a first down, too. Now Reds firing quickly here, and that's complete. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. They fake the give. Now Reds. Jackson. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent game, but all Still for none of the penalty. That's too bad, isn't it? They're feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys are just getting it. Now wins. The Sanders has got it complete. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield strike at the 49. We see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. The play is under they review. become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. The second of our two games here on this Wild Card Saturday is at halftime. We'll get back to you two in just a second. But first, let's take a look ahead to Sunday's action in the NFC. A 3-6 battle that ought to be a good one, as it'll be the Atlanta Falcons taking on the Green Bay Packers. Meanwhile, nothing settled in our Wild Card game. It's a tight one as we get ready for the third quarter. Standing by to take you the rest of the way Let's get it back to Brandon and Charles. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wild card Let's battle. Go, baby. All right, Greg Olson getting ready to trot out there for another drive. And what can they do to better account for him? Because they haven't accounted for him well 
so far as we see here on your screen. They may have to drop coverages they haven't run so far. <laughs> they have to create something on the fly because he's beaten everything. And when you watch this game unfold, you keep thinking to yourself, is it two men, three men? Maybe even a fourth guy may have to go and account for him. But right now, he's shredding the defense. And two touchdowns over 100 yards. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Now it's Carson. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Out of the gun, here's Wilson. And that is incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover, but doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah, and they had all that momentum after getting the football, and now Zach's right back in the other direction. A nice job on the return there, 16 yards. And possession will switch hands, first and 10. So good starting field position for him here as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. Flushed out right. from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that phrase because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep... And down he goes! They bring down Wentz on the sack. Wentz on his 2020 pick. Maybe they should have kept it on the ground again. Well, it almost looked like the old line was run blocking again. I mean, they opened up a big hole last time. This time they opened up a hole and they put it back on side. the Seahawks now set to take over on the offense. This crew had to punt last time they had the ball, but when you've got a lead like this, you can tend to play the field position game. You are to an extent, especially if you like your defense, because you have the lead, you've been controlling the game. But why put them in a tougher spot? You want to get out there and get something done on the offense and maybe take command of this game yourself. Now Wilson, off the boot leg. And his throw here is incomplete. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open. That would have been an easy throw. There's Wilson to throw. He finds Dorsett. It's complete. And a good job on the tackle there as they get him down short at first on the 35-yard strike. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say, I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up. Keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And just not much to be had there. One yard to the 10. You know, despite the score, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one of their point away from getting right back in this game. They will follow right along with you because the spot they're in now, is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means they're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. Let's go, let's get this ball back to the offense. Let's go. On first down, it's Sanders. Only a couple there as he'll be brought down about the 28. They're trying to quick hit her inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they were hoping this big defense line will take the beat and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They try to throw in second down, but this one is incomplete. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at third and eight. 
Now Wentz. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A nice pickup of 23 on the third down conversion. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. Let's go. Chewing up big yardage. Another nice game there. This one goes for 20. is Wentz. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. But it'll be second down. Second and ten now from the 29. Here we go. Here we go. They'll run with a former Badger. It's Corey Clement. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the pressure drops off as they look to throw. Double this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guys. He is a well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. They'll run on first down. Sanders. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Just a yard of the pickup there. They'll bring up a second and nine. Hey, Watch out. Watch out. On second and nine. Wentz. This is caught. Cool. They'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. One thing I can say pretty safely, that route is not clean if you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some mustard on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm guy degree. who can rifle it in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. On third down, they turn to Sanders. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And that'll bring up fourth down. I don't know if there's any other way to put it, but that play was blown up right from the snap. How about the guys on the defensive side of the bank? It's almost like they were in the offensive level. Yeah, it's one thing to stand them up from that one yard line, pushing them back to the five yard line. Wow. Yeah, I like what you just said there. Not just stand them up, but end up making a play on the other side of the line of scrimmage. Russell Wilson in the Seahawk offense now getting set to go again. He's played well. Good first half. He's continued that here in the third quarter. But my question is, when you're a head coach, what do you look at stat line wise for your part? Do you go right to turnovers? You really do. As much as coaches don't want to talk about that, that's where it starts. When I played in college, our first rule for every game, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. And that's kind of how they judge you. Do you take care of the ball, not turn it over, or keep it in the proper hands, and give your team a chance to win? That's what he's done here in this one so far. And it's been like this all night long. Nowhere to run as they stop him behind the line. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. From the gun, it's Wilson. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. This is fielded at the 27. Of Utah oh, as they head out to take over possession. And they had three points last time. But they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. They were one happy about the three point the kicker. Exactly. You play through the post. Let's go ahead and get the contract time. But that offense, good thing. Let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that had to the contract time. You, you could have kicked that one for <laughs> 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. Consecutive plays now where that offensive line has really created a lot of space. And we've seen the confidence rise, haven't we? It borders on arrogance now, and that's that good arrogance. Believing you can run the football whenever you get good and ready. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw down the field incomplete. 
After the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Wentz on the draw leads it for Sanders. And again, he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. Back to back stops, make it third and ten. His carries tonight, they're getting up there, so maybe one of those every now and then is understandable. I would agree with that. Understandable every now and then. Sometimes you come back and you fake it to him and go play action. But other times you say, okay, they got him on that one. We'll come back to him in another carry. The offense staying out there. They look prepared to go here on fourth and ten. They'll go for it. It's Wentz. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And it's knocked away and incomplete. There was Trey Flowers that time who got a hand in and broke it up. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. So they've gone for it twice now on fourth down of this game, and both times unsuccessful. I wish we could hear the headsets now between the head coach and the offensive coordinator. Now that they're open to it. If they get into a third situation, head coach might say, hey, you got anything for this one? Might get radio silence, man. <laughs> one quarter remains in this NFC wild card matchup. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Plus 59. Stay with your man. From just shy of midfield, Wilson. He finds his man, the tight end Olsen. They follow up the gain of five by only getting one there on second down. And the Seahawks on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, four for 10. Here it's third and three. Wilson. Dorsett making the catch. Two yards is how they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on the spread right there. Yeah, he took the very end right. Chance to think about turning it up field. Here we go. You need to get the ball away here in the fourth quarter while you're just holding a slim lead. But that punt, absolutely ideal. They pin them inside the five-yard line. They give their defense a really nice opportunity. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. Right now, Charles, this is the drive of the season. You're on the road here in the playoffs. It's put up or shut up. They need points. This is where you have to come together as a team. As you just noted, on the road. What that it means they've carried that mentality with them throughout. Hey, we got to go on and get a lot ourselves, right? Focus. Yet still find the fun in it. How great is this, guys? Look at the spot we're in right now. And then go to your top players. players and they go yeah, sort of controlling their own destiny, but this place has been loud. Not going to be easy. And yeah, he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. That's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to the ball to something a little more advantageous. Deep ball for Goodwin. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. They were trying to erase that deficit in one play. They certainly were, but how about the reaction time and the instincts back deep to force the incompletion? We might need to mark this one down. We may look back and say, that was a game-saving play. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And it'll be Seahawks football first and 10. The Seattle offense now is set to come back out on the field. And right now these guys are shuffling a little bit, maybe doubting, because three straight drives have ended with them putting the football away. Yes, yeah, so you start pointing fingers at each other a little bit, asking a lot of questions. What are you seeing? What are you getting? Maybe trying to narrow down the playbook a little bit and maybe get simpler rather than more complex in order to try to cash together a drive. Here's Carson. And he'll be brought down somewhat awkwardly here and a late flash as well. I think this one's going to be a face mask. Trailing in the fourth this close of a game, that's a penalty you just can't afford. It's an absolute killer, and it's one that drives coaches and teammates insane. And now it's first and ten. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Wilson throwing quickly out to Lockett. And he'll go down at the 28. The goal of the wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. 
How about the defense there? Swarming to it and not allowing that to happen. Did not let him get downfield. Back of the end zone. Can he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Well, they went for the big play there, but that drive could really hurt their momentum. They got to get to the 20 to keep the drive alive on third down. From the shotgun, Wilson. And they got the hookup. This is Olsen. And he will not get what he needed as he stops short of the first down and around the 22. Just a five-yard pickup, but it leads to fourth down. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of the first down. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The Eagles coming out as they get ready. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Wentz. It's caught by Sanders. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Let's go, Buck. Philadelphia picking up the first on a gain of 15. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and bond. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there. Getting into the back end of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker, on, or maybe a defense end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Not only did we just see back-to-back -back nice games, but we're also seeing the confidence rise, not just for the guy who caught it, but the guy throwing it as well. And these can be back-to-back catches here on the backfield. That can set something up downfield in a later sequence, right? A lot of the time, it starts to draw the defense closer to the line of scrimmage. So to your point, show the swing pass, show the check down. Maybe later on, he can run deep and catch him close to the spot. This pass complete wins to Ertz. And that'll wind on, up moving baby. the chains Let's again go. as the tackle's going to be made at the Seahawks 25 yard line. Good Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight Let's spots play. all day long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm a and he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Boom. Boom. 25 yards for the touchdown. As they can now even this game here in the fourth quarter with the extra point. Quarterback loves the receivers, but sometimes his best friend is that tight end. Yeah, it's hard to believe, isn't it? Because we always talk about the guys out wide and how acrobatic they are. But that tight end, great sight lines, easier throws. They become a bigger and bigger weapon as the NFL evolves. Elliott now to add the extra point. that's caused him to sort of fall off a bit? I think so. That has to happen. You've got to make some changes because in the first half, they were pretty effective. But the second part is sometimes when you're doing really well, you get off your game a little bit. You get off the gas a little. You're like, okay, we got this thing. And that's not necessarily the case. Maybe right now, someone just needs to tell a joke in the huddle, loosen things up, and get their big guy going again. Wilson, after the play fake to Carson. Blitz coming and down he goes. We got it. We got it. Well, a free safety blitz. That can be a gamble, but it proves fruitful there. Yeah, you're exactly right about the gamble because oftentimes the free safety is the last line of defense against a long pass. 
And when he comes at the quarterback, he better get home and make the play. Otherwise, a big play could result for the offense. It's a gain of 15, first down Seahawks. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, cut it to the outside, balls delivered, gets both feet down for the completion. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Carson. And he'll get it out to midfield. Looks like he'll spot it right at midfield at the 50. Here's a quick throw out wide to Dorsett. Yard 